So what is up, y'all? I've not been on this fan page in a while because apparently I lost authorization over my fan page or something like that. So I got it straight this morning, thanks be to God. It's been about a month or two, something like that. But that's not why I'm on here to explain that to y'all. That's not why I'm on here. I'm on here to explain to y'all, and I want to I ask y'all a good question. And I want to ask y'all a, a good question. I want to ask y'all, where is our faith? Right now, where is our faith? Because right now, we got a lot of people out here that are losing their faith. We got a lot of people out here that don't know what to do. We got a lot of people out here that just, they just losing it. For, and, and, and in my perspective, you losing your mind for no reason. I want to ask y'all, where is our faith? And, and, and the reason I'm asking this is because we got another strain of a virus coming out, which I've been reading a lot about all of this type of stuff. I've been reading a lot about what's going on in the earth as such as climate change is happening pretty fast and all this type of stuff and a lot of stuff and then you got people that are on the news and you got people that are just everywhere that are just they just freaking out they just going out of it you know just you know like i'm like and i'm like why because i know what's going on and i'm like why are we just acting so surprised about what is going on in this world today and i'm like no we should not be surprised because i'm finna tell y'all one thing ain't nothing that happened in this world but one thing and that one thing is the bible is fulfilling itself everything that the bible said was gonna happen is happening so why be surprised if we read in our if we read our Bible we would know why to be surprised about something that we didn't read about that we already know that is gonna happen why even at my age I'm not even I'm not even afraid or scared about nothing that's going on in this earth today such as coronavirus such as this uh, new virus they got out which is Delta virus I ain't scared of none of that and you want to know why because I trust in God and that's why all of all of our faith all of our trust all of our hope all, a lot of us on this life half of us we done lost at all why because we don't know because we listening to man we listening to the news we listening to the ccd we listening to the president instead of trusting in god and we we a lot of us we trusting in man we cannot be trusting in man even with, with what's going on in this earth today we got to stop trusting in man and we got to start trusting in god because god is the only person that's going he only person that got us on this earth and he the only person that's going to take us out of this earth and let me explain this to y'all ain't nothing else happening but the bible is fulfilling itself so y'all stop being afraid y'all stop being scared y'all stop going and buying up tissue y'all stop going and uh going crazy over something that we didn't already know that was going to happen if we just read our bible if we study it's something that we know is already going to happen so why be surprised about something that you already know is going to happen the bible is just fulfilling itself and that's the only thing that's going on stop being afraid because that you basically be saying that you're afraid of the end times you afraid of god stop being afraid of god if you already know what was about to happen stop being afraid of something that you already know was about to come that just means you got to prepare for whatever is about to come that just means you got to be ready because one thing about god he ain't finna wait for nobody to get they self uh, he ain't finna wait for nobody to get they self straight get they self right he not waiting you got to get yourself ready today or else who knows tomorrow ain't promised to none of us tomorrow we don't even know if god's gonna come back god can come back right now while i'm talking but half of us ain't ready we gotta start getting ready we gotta start being ready we gotta stop worrying about other people what other people think about us what other people saying about us what other people saying about this earth and get ourselves straight one thing about it is because at the end of the day ain't nobody else got a hell or heaven to put us in we got to stop trusting in man and trusting god and the last question i'm gonna ask y'all is where in the world it's our faith. I'm talking to everybody on this live. Where is your faith? Where is your faith at? You got to gain your faith and your trust and your hope back in Jesus instead of trusting in Biden. Instead of trusting in what the news say. Because the news said everybody finna get ready to catch coronavirus. No, ma'am. Now, one time did I get scared because one thing about my household is we trust God the whole time. We trust God throughout everything. We trust God even when it, they say it went down. We trust God even when they said it was getting ready to come back up. We trust God through everything. We trust God instead of trusting in man instead of trusting in what the news said instead of trusting in what the president said instead of trusting in whatever and what anybody else whatever the mess that they said everybody gonna be covered by the blood of jesus if you just i i, I see katrina and she come in and she gave me uh, and thank you holy ghost she gave me what to say the blood of jesus christ is enough and that is so true 
That's enough. Stop listening to what man say and listen to God. This is something that we already know was going to happen. We didn't know how it was going to happen. We didn't know if it was going to be through coronavirus. We didn't know if it was going to be through global change. I mean, this is all types of stuff that we already knew was going to happen. Tina, the only reason why they confuse is because we don't read our Bible. If we read, we read every day. We'll know what's about to come. We'll know what's in the end times. We'll know what's ahead of us. The Bible says, study to show thyself approval. And a lot of us are not showing our self-approval because we just here. We just here on earth listening to what other people saying instead of just trusting God, the person who put you here. I don't understand how us, how we can lose our hope. Because I'm going to tell y'all something through everything. My whole household been trusting God. Mama, daddy, me, sister, brother, whoever it is, trust God. Faith. Is the substance of things that is hoped for, but evidence is not something that's not seen. You got to be strong in God to have faith. Stop thinking that everything is going to be easy. I, I, I preached on this message before. Stop thinking that change is going to always be easy because, baby, it's not. You need to get your life straight. You need to get everything straight. Your household, yourself, your work. Some of us got some words that will come out of our mouth and we don't even know. We got to get ourselves straight. Instead of trying to worry about what somebody else is thinking about us because we're trying to serve God, the main person who put us here. Stop trusting in man and trust in God. I'm going to ask y'all this one more time. Where is your faith? And from now on, I dare anybody that's on this live, from now I don't care what the news say. I don't care what nobody else say. I don't care what nobody say. I dare you to trust God. I said T-R-U-S-T, -S -T, trust. Y'all don't get what I'm saying. Y'all, I'm starting to feel something up in this hot car. Okay? I said trust God. Do y'all hear me? I'm going to get off this live because I'm going to go back in the house. But we got to start trusting God and stuff instead of trusting what somebody else is saying. Things that I may be saying is harsh. Things that I may be saying may be getting to somebody, but it's the truth. And the truth may hurt. You got to trust God instead of trusting anybody else. Before you can trust anybody else, put God first. Before you do anything, put God first. When you get your paycheck, put your tithes out. Put God first. God first for everything. Trust God and stop trusting in man. Because at the end of the day, like I said, man ain't got no heaven or hell to put you in. Man, they can't judge you. Man can't do none of that. You got to trust God. Not nobody else. Trust God. Yes, the truth will make you free. So, I'm going to say this one time. Where is our faith? And I'm going to say this. Trust God. Y'all have a good day. And I dare for anybody that's on this live, the rest of your life, whatever happened, whether it's sickness, whether it's the coronavirus, whether it's the world, whatever they got going on, whether it's anything. I dare you to trust God. I double D dog dare you to trust God. Trust him. You ain't got to trust nobody. God. G-O-D. Trust him. Okay? Do you hear me? Yeah, y'all good. My husband got coronavirus. Wait a minute. Trust God. Y'all, my daughter got coronavirus. I think I got it too. Trust God. Do y'all hear me? Well, girl, I just lost my son. Trust God. Girl, it's 92 degrees outside and I ain't got no heat. Trust God. Do you hear me? Trust in God. Okay? Whatever the situation is, trust God. Y'all, you I, I put God in everything. Trust God. Okay? Trust him. Do you hear me? I said trust God. Well, girl... I'm trying to borrow some money because my kids ain't got no school clothes and I ain't got no money. I said trust God. You better trust them. You better trust them. Because at the end of the day, can't you can't trust in nobody else. Yeah, have faith, 
is as little as a mustard seed and will move mountains. That mountain that's been in the way, that mountain that's been in your life, that it, that, that old record here that it feel like you just can't climb up, you gotta start asking God, Lord, help me. You gotta try st trusting God, even in your situation where you know that mountain is in the way. You have a, have some faith. Your faith will move a mountain out of your life so you can keep going down that smooth path that God wants you to go down. I'm finna tell y'all this. The bigger the anointing, the bigger the attack. The stronger the anointing, the stronger the attack. It ain't gonna be easy. Do y'all hear me? It's not gonna be, it's, this world ain't fair, this world ain't easy. People gonna die, people gonna go, all this type of stuff. But we still gotta trust God, cause one thing about it, life gonna go on. I preached on that too, y'all. I spoke on that too. Life changing quotes. Stop trusting other people. Stop waiting on other people to for your change. Cause one thing about it is you can't wait on nobody. If your change finna come, you gotta work with your change. If you if yeah, one thing about it is if you gonna have faith, faith without works is dead. If you gonna have faith, work with your faith. Don't just tell God, well, Lord, I'm trusting in you and I got faith and I'm trying to see what's going on. No, you gotta start working with your faith. Well, Zacharias, how do I work with my faith? That means you got to start talking to God, having a strong relationship with God. You got to start fasting every day. You got to work with it and trust him. Girl, me and my husband just got a divorce. Trust God. Do you hear me? Trust him. Because the enemy's worst the, the enemy's worst fear is a praying person. Y'all got to stop praying more, too. Do y'all hear me? Bible, pray, and fast. That's right, Katrina. Miss Katrina, you better tell them again. We better start trusting God. I've been on here long enough, and I'm finna get off. Okay? But I just want to leave y'all with two words. Two words. Trust God.